Um, four days on, Zach, from the winning of support, how are you feeling and what's it sort of been like the last couple of days at the club? Yeah, really positive. Um, yeah, it was it was another big game. Port Adelaide have been in some really good form this year, so we knew we were going to have to be at our best. And uh, they sort of started to get a bit of momentum at the start of the third quarter. And I thought we were able to sort of stem that really well. And yeah, re really positive. As I said, we got another big game this week against Collingwood, and um, yeah, we won't look any further than that. And you personally have been in some good form yourself and playing some consistent footy. How have you sort of seen your year so far? Yeah, it's, it's been pleasing. I've, I've been able to play in every game this year, which has been a positive. Um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to keep on developing and keep building my game so that with time and more, the more footy that I play and that sort of thing. But we've been able to build a really stable group down in defence. We've had a number of different guys that have come through as well um, who have been really positive. Stav's been playing some good footy and was good to have him back on the weekend. And Yeah, we're, we're just looking to keep on building and we've got another few weeks to keep trying to put some things in place and get our game going. You talk about that back sort of core group of players, is there anyone in particular you can sort of credit to helping you along this year to make sure you're playing consistent footy? I think it's a whole group thing. Um, yeah, I think we've had a number of guys who have stood up this year and stood up in the last few years, which has been pleasing. But I think just as a whole group, we, we gel really well together and enjoy each other's company. So um, yeah, yeah, the more footy we play, we're only going to keep getting better with each other and um, yeah, just as a group, I think we, we really gel well together. And you mentioned Simon before, he was yeah, in on the weekend straight into the coaches' boat. How important is he to that sort of make up down back? I know you said that we've had a lot of people roll through there, but how good was it to see him come back and, and play some good footy? Yeah, I was really pleased with Sav. I think, yeah, he's, he's been someone that's he had an injury sort of middle of the season, which probably interrupted him a little bit, but it was great to see him back at his best on the weekend. I thought he took some some good marks and was important at some really crucial stages of the match with a, I think it was a roll around spoil when they sort of had that run on, which was really important and got the crowd going. So I think his best is really good and really helps our, our makeup down there. And obviously Friday night footy in, in front of probably a sold out MCG. How are you looking forward to it and, and what sort of challenges do, do Collingwood present? And then on the flip side, what can we sort of pose to them to, to, to show that we're up to it and up to the plate? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a, another huge game. Uh, it always is against Collingwood. The um, the fans are always turn out um, really well for those games, and they've been in some really good form this year. So we know we're going to have to be at our best. Um, they've been playing some amazing footy, as I said, this year, and they've got a num number of weapons all across the ground, which we'll have to try and nullify. And um, our, our focus will just be to go in and try and play um, our best footy, which which we know. Uh, when, we, when we do play our best footy, it's really hard to stop for other teams, but we, we know we're going to have to be at our best. And, but yeah, the challenge is really exciting, looking forward to it. And you speak about the challenge just, just finally. It obviously, we come up against teams that are sitting in the eight for the next three weeks. Do you, is it still a sort of a week-by-week -week proposition, or do you sort of get stuck sort of looking into advance to be like, oh, if we win this one, we might... This team might win that one, um, or is it still just a one week at a time competition at the moment? Yeah, I think taking it week by week is really important. Obviously, there's there's a number of ways that it can play out for a lot of different teams across the competition, which which is exciting for fans at home. But I think it's it's really important to sort of focus on what we can control, just getting the next day right, and whether it be our main session today, just trying to go out there and put the last few things in practice and get ourselves going for this week against Collingwood and. Um, yeah, and then once once it gets to game time on Friday, we'll be really looking forward to trying to play our best footy and um, take it up to the pies. And then once we sort of play that game, we want on to the next one, sort of starting to prepare as best we can for the week after.